say hello. Okay, I'll I'll say hello. To the folks. To the folks. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy first football Sunday. Happy first football Sunday. Babe is going to make a steak and eggs breakfast burrito live. In celebration. In celebration. And I am going to be behind the camera reading Babe the comments while she cooks. <laughs> so good luck. Okay. <laughs> good morning, everybody. If you are tuning in after, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, this morning, I'm going to cook some steak burritos. What kind of steak did you get, babe? Ribeye. <clears throat> These are ribeyes. Let me give you a little look. See, Adam. Can you see it, babe? Mm, yes. Does that look good? Okay. So, I'm not a big breakfast person, so I probably will just have one little bite. But David and Josh love these. These are like David's favorite. So, I'm going to salt and pepper them a little bit first. Just to get some yummy flavor on there. CJ says, good morning, babe and Josh. Good morning. Home Cook says, hello. Leprechaun TV is here. Good morning. And the real Joey B says, hi, babe. Hello, good morning. So <clears throat> for Josh's burrito, I'm going to do egg whites, eggs, cheese, beans. Well, not just egg whites. No, no, eggs, too. Oh, okay. Eggs and egg white mix. And then cheese, beans, and I'll probably throw a little cilantro and some hot sauce on there. Anything Cholula. else? Yeah, he loves Cholula. Is there anything else weird we can put in it? I don't know, babe. This is your creation. Tasty? Like, I don't know. We'll see. You got Pit Life Barbecue in here. Jimmy Sharpton. Good Lewis morning. at our Barbecue Shack. Well, good morning. He said, hello, my favorite Prius driving cop. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Okay, so I'm using this giant knife because that's what it takes to cut this steak, right? <laughs> no, not and right. not cut your fingers off. And not cut my fingers off, which will happen someday because I have no knife skills. So basically, you're just cubing up some ribeye. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to cube up the ribeye. We're going to cook it on the cast iron. We're not doing the blackstone this morning because why? I don't know. I forget. Because we're doing a lot of meal prep today, so we're yeah. going to be in the kitchen all day anyways. Yeah. yeah CJ says that's a cool knife. Yeah, thank you, CJ. <laughs> um, yeah, we have to meal prep all day today, and then we're going to make banh mi sandwiches, which I'm very excited about. I told Josh, let's just go live all day and let everybody see what the meal prepping day is like for us. But he's people, like, no. people are going to be watching football today, babe. People will be watching football. They're not interested in us, I guess, like I am. You know, <laughs> I love to watch myself. <laughs> not really. <laughs> How's this looking, babe? It's looking really good. Can you see everything okay? It's really good. Okay. Makes us happy to have babe in the video. Yeah. That's what Cuff and Stuff said. All right. I'm here and I'm cooking. And you're up early. And I'm up early. Not that. I mean, we woke up at 6.30, didn't we? Yep. But we laid in bed until 8. Well, you did. Yeah, you snuck out. <laughs> I curled up under the covers. But I'm just so tie tight. We had a long day yesterday. We hit the L.A. County Fair. Yep. Um, it was about 100 degrees all day on the hot cement with a million people. And that took it out of us, I guess, right? Yeah, it was a long, it was a long, long day. It was a long day, plus an hour drive to get there, hour and 15-minute drive to get there. I want to know, out of the six morning 10 a.m. games, mm -hmm. what's, who's watching what? Who's playing today? Lots of people, babe. Everybody. Well, I'll be rooting for the Niners. No, no, babe. Nobody roots for the Niners. I do. Yeah, I you're you're one of three people that root for the Niners. I know. I don't even like them actually anymore. I just have to because I can't stand the Raiders. The Raiders are going to Las Vegas, babe. Thank goodness. <laughs> bye bye, Raiders. Every time we drive to Vegas, we see the stadium. And I say that right there is just grounds for crazy people. <laughs> JB's Barbecue and Guns, what's up? How are you? Hey, you guys in the chat, uh, check out his channel. He does live chats and stuff like that. Um, I found his channel the other day. Oh, yeah, we were watching him last night, huh? Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah. So, anyways, but we don't watch football as much anymore. After they started getting crazy with politics, huh? Yeah. Maybe this year, yeah. maybe this season, since today's the first day of the season, maybe it'll be... It'll be a new day. It's a new season and a new chance. It's a new season and a new chance, and we'll see how it is. We're going to get it, it together. Babe and her avocado oil. 
I mean, it's clean. It can cook up to 500 degrees and it's not aerosol. It's air pressured, cleaner cooking and eating. It's good stuff. It's better than olive oil. It's not as fattening. There's no fat, no sodium, no carbs, no protein, no calories. It's just, no flavor. I don't understand how that's possible. I don't know, man. Whatever, but you can use it for anything. Baking, roasting, grilling, sauteing, no chemicals, no propellants, no preservatives. So your plan is to get the cast iron hot, hot and spicy, mm -hmm. and then you're going to take your cube ribeye. You should show your mm -hmm. cube ribeye because yeah. it's kind of hard to... I'm going to put a little more salt and pepper on it. Salt and pepper. Okay. So to recap, we're going to be having eggs, ribeye steak, some beans, cilantro. Mm -hmm. What else are you putting in there? Cheese. Cheese. Egg whites. Egg whites. There's our steak. Lots of cubed up ribeye. Mm -hmm. um, cilantro. We're going to put in there. Cilantro. You don't want any onions, do you? No, I'll pass on onions. And Cholula. And Cholula. Okay. So Got Chiefs it. Jaguars. Who's Chiefs taking the Chiefs? Jaguars. So I'll take the Chiefs. Remember we saw the Jaguars yacht when yeah. we were in Florida? The owner of the Jaguars The owner of the yacht. Jaguars has yeah. this massive yacht and we weren't even allowed to barely get near it we were like lurking like you know people i think it's like 220 feet long or something it like that it huge was huge and it was beautiful. like a floating city it was crazy and they had his whole staff on there yeah sent one says i prefer having auto i can't even talk avocado itself over the oil oh i love avocado avocado is yummy that would have been good on this burrito too avocado uh-huh no, i like avocado, avocado. Mm -hmm. i'd like guacamole I don't know. That's true. You would. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah. Let's get this in there. Let's get this in there. Let's do this thing. You got 11 people in the chat, man. 12 oh. people in the chat. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah. And you have four thumbs up. Thanks for joining us. We're going to cook this up. I don't want it to be too overdone. I got to get the tortillas out. Got to get your tortillas out, man. There we go. We had tacos last night, breakfast burritos this morning. And we're making a homemade salsa today. We're making our homemade salsa. We're using paper plates. Amy Lynn, hello, hello. Because I don't want to do more dishes because I'm going to have enough as it is. Probably make a couple burritos and send them to work with you, babe. Yeah. Want me to do that? Sure. Okay. I mean, that's enough ribeye steak. That was Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, I'll make you some breakfast burritos for work. Okay. This week. Then you don't have to worry about it because I have to go back to Reading and I have a busy week. Girl Scout starts for both my girls. Gymnastics starts for both my girls. We just have a busy week, babe. Yeah, babe. Yes. Watching this in bed, you're going to make me get up and get a breakfast burrito now. That's what TJ said. Yeah. <laughs> just order Postmates to your door and then po you don't have to worry Postmates about it. Postmates to your door. Yeah. Just Postmate it. Is that what you did all weekend with Melissa gone? Post making it. I feel like see like it was just like Melissa's gone. I'll just order post <laughs> and like here be sad. He misses her. I know. That's how you are when I'm gone. <laughs> That's why I think he's like that. I'll just lay here and order Postmates. <laughs> I usually use like DoorDash, Uber Eats, yeah, Postmates, whatever. Whoever's giving me the deal of the Whoever day. Whoever gets the deal. Yep, you get good stuff. See, they said DoorDash. Sent one said Uber Eats. I use whoever has the good promotion yeah. or what promotion code I can find. I like DoorDash because CJ said get... he's been sad all weekend. I know. I know. I could tell. Sorry. She'll be home today. Um, I feel like I like DoorDash the best because anytime we give our code out, you get, we get 20 bucks. Right. And they get ten dollars off their first order. Right. And free delivery. Yeah. So DoorDash is the way to go. Yeah. If you share your code with people. If you share your code with people. Yeah. It's awesome. We've gotten like sixty dollars in free food. Yeah. From DoorDash. So if you need that code, let <laughs> us know. We're happy to share. Happy to share. It looks like you have thirteen people in the chat, babe, and four thumbs up. Oh, good. Good. I like thumbs up. That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. No thumbs down yet. No thumbs down yet. Our lurker is not watching right now. Uh, he will be soon. I'm he sure. will be. He'll be in here. 
I don't know if he'll say anything. He'll just come in for the thumbs down and then leave. And then leave. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much. It's so weird. Well, whatever. You know? So we have Chiefs Jaguars. Okay, who else? Falcons versus Vikings. Okay. Titans versus Browns. Okay. Bills versus the Jets. Ravens versus the Dolphins. Redskins, Eagles. Okay. And then the 49ers are playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 125 today. 125 p.m. All right. And let's see. The Rams aren't playing today? The Seahawks um, are, or I'm sorry, I'm looking at next weekend. Let's see here. The Colts and the Chargers are today. The Steelers are playing the Patriots today. That's at 5.20 p.m. So the night game tonight is the Steelers and Patriots. You like the Steelers? Uh, we might have to watch that. We might have to watch that. Because you're a Let's Steelers see. fan? Uh, I mean, if I had to pick a team, I would be the Ste I would pick the Steelers. What do you like about them? Uh, I just like them. I don't know. I just always like them. That would be an idea. Order a meal from all the delivery places and watch them battle for your business and money. Ooh. We did do a video back in the day that's on our channel that we – that we drove for Postmates. We were Postmates drivers. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Lewis at our barbecue sh uh, is taking the Seahawks today. Okay. Can you believe I've been waiting two weeks on delivery of Pie from Amazon? Really? No way. You think it's here to us in a few days. We get it on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. I'll tell you that Pie is amazing. <laughs> and we get can it on. try it new? And we get it on Amazon. Look, we have two bottles. I can see it right there in the door. Yeah. Two bottles right there yeah. of it. It is so good. Yeah, Cuff and Stuff Barbecue. Oh, really? Said that he's been waiting two weeks already. Well, that's not good. That's weird. Did what? he do it prime? I don't know. What's that, babe? Milk. Milk. Yeah. And the eggs? Makes your eggs fluffy. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Throw a little milk in there. Oh, okay. Come on, babe. <laughs> and I needed to use it. Salt. A little that's, bit of salt. That's a very untraditional way to make scrambled eggs. Why? What is? Adding I mean, milk? Adding the salt and pepper and all that stuff up front. Really? Yeah, babe. That's how I've always made your eggs. Well, I make my eggs differently. Whose do you like better? Yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, babe, that's how I it. We're going to have a link below. Q pie is Japanese mayonnaise. And uh, it's yeah. far more tasty, far more rich, mm -hmm. and it is epic and life changing. Yeah, it's good. Just go to Amazon. Or we'll have a link below. You can buy it yeah. from our little Amazon store. but Or you can go to Amazon and just search Q-Pie Mayonnaise, and it'll come up. And it is epic. It's like five bucks. And you got to get it on Prime. And get it on Prime so you don't have to wait two weeks. Yeah, that's, nice. that's crazy. so bad. Unless they're sold out or something. I don't know. I got mine, and I got ours in like well, two days. You know what they are sold out of? What? What there is a shortage of now. White Claws. Because people, because there ain't no laws when you're drinking white claws. Yes. <laughs> you want to get white claw wasted. Yeah. And that is so disappointing. Only women drink white claws. Actually, I put it on my Facebook. I shared the news article, um, and a guy commented, and he was like, "Okay, I tried them, and now I love them." Oh my like, goodness. Yeah. yeah. See. Oh my goodness. They're good, <laughs> babe. They're good. Babe, scrambled eggs are better than Josh's. Who knew? I'm telling you, my scrambled eggs are pretty good. Your scrambled eggs are very good when you make them the Gordon Ramsay style. With creme fraiche? With the creme fraiche. And the roasted tomatoes? Yes, that is very good. Yeah. I wish that I could still eat it, but I can't. <laughs> can't do it. That was so good when you were making that all the is time. Is it steak? Don't, don't, um. Overdo it? Yeah. I'm not. I like a little, I like a, some pink, babe. I know. I just had to turn it back on for a second because it wasn't quite done. Okay. Wasn't quite there. Said that they would send me an email when it ships. That sucks that you have to wait that long. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad. Maybe cancel the order and reorder from a different vendor through Amazon mm -hmm. because that sucks. Yeah. yeah. White Claw is only for ladies and Prius drivers. <laughs> uh, I would agree with the first half of that. Yeah. <laughs> my Prius. Like my, white Claw. Yeah, but my Prius identifies as a Jeep, so yeah. everything's fine. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I still want to get that license plate cover for you. It's so funny. Okay. Steak is done. Eggs are cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs are cooking. Then you're going to roast up a tortilla mm -hmm. on 
the open fire of the gas stove. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I gotta heat the beans up. Oh, you gotta heat the beans up. How are you gonna do that? Probably the microwave. Probably the microwave. The leftover from last night. The leftover beans. Mm -hmm. CJ says white claws are only good when you add vodka. That is true. <laughs> and a little bit of juice. Unless you're drinking them starting at breakfast time on the lake and you need to stay all day, <laughs> then you then just, you just white drink claw. white claws. Then you white claw it up until the evening. <laughs> then you white claw it up. I, I really like, um, actually, the Henry Weinhardt's put out a pina colada style one, yeah, flavored one, and that's really good. Why don't you just drink a normal pina colada? Because it's just it's just flavored. It's still just seltzer water, malt no. malt liquor no. seltzer water. Malt that? liquor is Mickey's forties, yeah. and those are delicious. You love those too. Yeah, everybody loves Mickey's forties. I don't know anybody that loves them, but yeah. you in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, babe. But yeah, anyway, so white claws shortage. Even though everybody's coming out with them. Oh no! What is the world to do without enough white claws? Yeah, we don't know. The, we're at a stall. We're at a stall. See, maybe you started talking about white claws, and now you only have eight people in the in the chat. <laughs> oh. See how that works? <laughs> Sorry, should I talk about something else like whiskey? Yeah. If you talked about whiskey and cigars, you see, you just said whiskey. Now you have nine people in the chat. <laughs> see? see how that works? And you have oh, you have one thumbs down and seven thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so whiskey yeah. is on sale right now yeah. at Albertsons. Yeah. Four Roses. Four Roses is on sale right now for $16.99, which makes Josh very happy. Yeah. Well, that's a good price. That that's is a, a good, good price, price for considering Four Considering that Evan Williams is $11.99. Yeah. So you might as well drink that because that's usually a $25 bottle, right? Mm, yeah, $23, yeah. Yeah. Four Roses is very good if you have not tried it. It's a fantastic whiskey. Look at, see, babe, I still do them slow and slow. Slow and slow or low and slow? Low and slow. And slow and slow. Low and slow. Home Cook says White Claw Wasted, babe. Yeah, I got my t-shirt that I was wearing yesterday. Yeah. I wore it to the fair. I, mean, I only got one compliment on it. You did? Yeah, from the bartender guy. <laughs> He's like, I, I love a basic a basic girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was like, I haven't tried White Claws. Are those good? And I was like, well, clearly I like them if I'm wearing the shirt. <laughs> Simone says that he prefers Irish whiskey. What was that Jameson that we had? The other one, the... The cask? No, the cast one is good too, but there was another one. The black bottle? The black bottle yeah. of Jameson is really good. I don't drink Jameson. I won't touch Jameson. I have a <coughs> You don't like it. Why, babe? Jameson is good. <clears throat> you know, the two times that I've tried it, I had one shot of it and yeah. I got sick. Because you can't hang? I can't hang. <laughs> no. I'm going back to wine. You're going to be a wino. I'm just going to be a wino again. Yeah. Yeah. I, gotta, I don't like liquor anymore. Yeah, right. see, so you said wine and being a wine, and now you have six people in the chat. <laughs> see how that works? Six people holding on strong, babe, to see what the final breakfast burrito product looks like. Well, give so us, now you're adding cheese. Give us something fun to talk about then. You're, you're adding cheese. I'm adding cheese. I don't have a good enough topic. <laughs> so my eggs, I do low and slow. I add a little bit of milk because it makes them fluffier. Allegedly. Yeah, look at them. They look beautiful. This is um, four eggs and about a cup of egg whites, so that it's a little tiny bit healthier. Meanwhile, we're having ribeye steak and. And to go with your steak, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let me heat these beans up. Heat these beans up. Yeah. Okay. From our tacos last night, those were fantastic tacos. Okay. What? CJ says, I'm still here. White claw in hand. Cheers. <laughs> it's football Sunday. It's totally acceptable to start drinking at 10 a.m. You start with mimosas or screwdrivers, and then you move in. You move into something have, else. I know. Why don't we have mimosas? <laughs> that would be so fun. We have to go to Best Buy. We have to go to Kohl's. Oh, we have yeah, a lot of stuff. You got to clean the garage. Ugh. Let's see. The question of the day. How does everyone feel about cooking different kinds of meats at the same time on a smoker? How does everybody oh, feel about cooking different kinds before. of meat at the same time on a smoker? I don't think we've ever done that. I don't know. So like cooking a pork butt and ribs and like steaks? 
Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I'm fine. I'm okay with it. I don't think that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem. Guess who's here? Who? Kid. Oh, Kit. <laughs> you made it. 20 Welcome. minutes into it. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, he's probably at church. Maybe. Probably. Okay. There's your beans. Okay. Here comes your eggs. Beans. Eggs. Eggs. Cheesy eggs. Cheesy eggs. Okay. Salt and pepper, which you seem to disapprove of. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay. Some steak. Ribeye steak. Done to your liking. Medium. Medium rare. Eh, it's probably more medium well. Probably more. Oh, babe. No, that's, a, that's medium. Okay, that's medium. I'll give you that. Yeah. In our blown out camera, you can't really see that it's medium. But take your word for it. It's medium. Okay. Ben, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Just put a little cilantro on there. Because you love cilantro. Big frog. Right, Ben? I love cilantro. You, like, live for cilantro, huh? If you have room, why not? I agree. Okay. Some Cholula. Some Cholula. Okay, just a little bit. You got to hold up. Before you wrap it, you got to show. I will. You got to show. A little more cheese for looks. Babe, I was at church praying for all the sinners. No name will be mentioned. <laughs> He definitely didn't say CJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's there. the final product. There it is. Can you see it? Okay. Kind of. Our blown out camera. But you Do can I kind need of to go get closer? It. There you go. That's good. Right there. There we go. So beans, eggs, cheese, ribeye, cilantro, cholula, more cheese. Yes. Yes, babe. Are you happy with yes. that? I'm happy with that. Okay, good. So cilantro and lime make for a better time. Ooh, that's a good saying. I like it. Okay. Let me wrap this baby. Sit one said, how come there's no hot peppers in there? Uh, we just didn't do any. Yeah, right, come on over here, babe. Oh, I have to come over? Yeah, you got to come over and eat. Now you're on Comet, Comet Patrol? Oh, sure, yeah. yeah you're yeah. on Comet Patrol? Yeah. Okay. Babe, okay. But the camera's angled for you, not for me. Oh, you're fine. Oh, I am? Yeah, you're okay. When, when I sink down low like that? No, you can stand up even. Stand up. You're fine. It just cuts <laughs> off the top of your head. But everybody loves the top of my head. They said looks good. Okay. Sinner. <laughs> CJ said he's a sinner. How is it, babe? Mm. Delish? Are you happy? Yay! I love when you're happy. It no. makes me happy to see you happy. Because then we're all happy when <laughs> Josh is happy. Yes. That was really good, babe. Yeah? You did good on the steak. Okay. How do you like the cilantro in it? I like it. Because it gives that freshness. Yeah, do you want me to put that in all of your breakfast burritos for the week or mm -hmm. not? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And I'll wrap them up. Is David going to like that? Just eggs, cheese, and meat, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. He's, I'll basic. Have my... He's what? Basic. Right. He needs a white cloth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, sinners have more fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Why does some of the chat shows up with the channel logo on the screen? Why do some of the chat show up? Because with this um, streaming program, yeah, the StreamYard, you can click on people's comments and put them on the screen. Okay. Oh, Enzo's here. Hello. Hello. There you go. Like, click on Enzo's comment. You can put it on the screen. Okay. okay so if I click on it and say, like this, show, mm -hmm. then there we go. And then when you want to be done, then you click it again. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So, um, thank you, everybody. Yeah. I'm glad you like your breakfast, babe. I'm almost done with it. Good. I'm going to make some more um, for the week. Yeah, it is pretty blown out with the white plate. Mm -hmm. It's not good. I cannot figure out the setting. <clears throat> next up. So, next up, I've got to get the marinade going for our banh mi. Mm -hmm. Salsa. Uh, if you've not had a banh mi sandwich, they're fantastic. Uh, we have a video on our channel of that. Thanks, Cuff and Stuff, for stopping by. Yeah, we have that on our channel. It's really good. The flavor profile layers layers of flavor are so good. Yeah, it's with a, a Vietnamese with a, thing, but Vietnamese sandwich made with pork tenderloin. Made with pork tenderloin, and you put um, daikon, you pickle daikon radish and carrots. You put cilantro, jalapeno, English cucumbers, cupine mayo. And then you make a fish sauce. Yeah. But it's not fishy. No. There's no a fish you're scared too. It's a marinade. And then you like, do like the soy sauce the and 
You do the pork tenderloin. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So we're gonna get ready and do that, and then I have to meal prep Josh's lunches and dinners for the week. Yeah, babe. Since I'm leaving him. Yeah, babe. So I'll be in the kitchen all day. Yeah. I told him to just leave it on all day, and I'll be a reality show for the day. But he said that nobody would want to watch me. <laughs> They're watching football. Well, maybe they want to watch me too. It's uh, people have 30 minutes before football time, basically. They there's gotta, no pregame. No. There's no pregame stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's common commentary. yeah commentary going yeah. on. Yeah. But people have to go get their mimosas ready. They have to go get their breakfast ready. They got to mm -hmm. get their channel picked. We got to sit down. We're going to sit down and come up with all of the game day appetizers we're going to release each week. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have ideas? Oh, I got. Maybe has ideas. I've got ideas. <laughs> ideas upon ideas. Mm -hmm. Nothing healthy. Nothing healthy. We're supposed to be getting healthy, though. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, okay, for baby. joining us. Come around and say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Okay. Okay, to the 11 people in here. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good Sunday. That's right. Oh, Woodchuck just showed up. <laughs> Why? 26 minutes into it. Were you sitting on your red deck just looking out into your beautiful yard? <laughs> having coffee? What time is it there? It's 11.30 there. Yeah. But we missed you. We're ending it now. All right, everybody. See you guys Have later. Let's see. Stay